Everyone back here today, this is Jordan French having a post uh, with Jean Tote, president of FIA. He is also the UN Secretary General Special Envoy for Road Safe. John Toad, welcome. Thank you for spending some time with us. Uh, we have a few questions for you today. It's very exciting being here at, at Formula E. I uh, wanted to discuss some of the technology at work and some of your work in road safety. Uh, for Incidentally, I don't know if you are aware, but FIA, I, I uh, made a high-level panel for road safety. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have the former founder of the uh, Huffington Post, who is part of it, Ariana, Perfect. member of a high-level panel. You knew about that? She's the boss. No, she was. She was the boss. That's right. Well, tell us about uh, tell us about some of that work. We know that you're very passionate uh, about road safety and the marketing that can come from Formula E to showcase and show people uh, what's possible with technology. Tell us what you're trying to do with the uh, Formula E brand. I mean, make uh, electric car more friendly in order to encourage people to buy electric car in cities. And you know, the big problem we have on electric car at the moment is the autonomy, which is limited. And then the recharging time is quite long. So electric car is good for short distance. And uh, that's why we, we want to, to give a kind of a fresh feeling. And a new image. People. And uh, so that it, I mean, it's, it's a vision. When you speak about when you speak about uh, new mobility, about uh, climate change, about environment, uh, I mean, electric car is uh, obviously more adapted. So we need also to to address um, pollution. So electric car is a way to decrease pollution in cities and uh, something which is not directly linked uh, with what we do now but uh, I mean on top of our list uh, we have also traffic congestion because every citizen living around the cities I mean is hurt by traffic and congestion every day and in, in a way gets used to that but it's uh, time con consuming it's uh, money spending and again, it's pollution. How do electric cars help reduce congestion? I mean, it's, I said it's another subject, but it's a subject which is on top of our list. But I mean, electric cars have nothing to do with congestion. But I mean, that's on top of the list, the priority we are addressing. This is top of your mind. Yeah. Okay, very good. Uh, some, of the, some of the suggestions you've had in the past for people are to consider buying an electric car uh, for those who aren't up to speed on some of the uh, current capacities, what can you tell them, uh, the general public, about why they should buy an electric car in lieu of a combustion engine automobile? But you know, you get, you need to, to get used to it. I must say, it's absolutely fascinating to see how motoring is progressing over the decades. You know. So it's very important that uh, we assess the situation at the present uh, time and then we see what could be the vision in the next 10 or 20 years. And clearly, electric car is part of that. And some of the advancements that have come in the technology are a direct result of some of the FIA's work and Formula E, just as a quick example for the audience. Like the capacity of uh, the battery. Yeah, they you know, we started the championship now four years back and uh, until the end of the, this year championship which uh, incidentally is going to end up in about uh, one month in New York you need to have two cars to complete about 50 minutes uh, racing from the next season uh, which uh, we start and again it's something very new in Saudi Arabia where for the first time women will be allowed to drive <laughs> It's um, going to be only one car. So same distance, one car. It's a huge improvement. Huge improvement. One of the other improvements? But you know, for me, okay. it's very important that uh, motor racing is on one side a show, a spectacle, entertaining, mm -hmm. but also a laboratory. <coughs> and some of the ways that you view Formula E is to show people what's possible 
with the technology so that they can realize themselves in the vehicles themselves. Is that right? That's right. Yeah. So one of the other technologi- technology improvements is with the tires. Isn't that right? There's a tire weight reduction over time? I mean, I would not really speak about the uh, improvement of that, but uh, just to demonstrate that in motor racing, you can have uh, one set of tires, whatever are the track conditions, rain or wet. Incidentally, I mean, it has never been raining during a race so far in four years. So we were hoping that maybe in Zurich today it could happen, but it seems that it will not happen. But so the whole idea is to have only one compound of tires, one type of tires for everybody, which can be used whatever are the track conditions. Right, that's very different. Very but of course, in terms of lap time, it's not as performing, you know, because I mean those those tires which are done with. Uh, design on the tires are not as competitive as a slick tire you would normally use on the tarmac. To, sh- to showcase the rain, perhaps we'll have to uh, propose a race in uh, Seattle or Ireland where it's where it's almost always raining. Why not? We Why not? That, we leave that to you. Maybe you can uh, you can promote one. We, uh, we, tell, we tell Ariana. We tell Ariana. Ariana. So, uh, I, I've read a bunch about your work with the United Nations. Tell us about, for the audience that doesn't know some of your work in that area, tell us what you're doing. So I've been appointed by the UN uh, Secretary General as his special envoy for safety. And uh, clearly, I mean, incidentally, for the first time, the UN Road Safety Fund was uh, voted during the General Assembly in New York last uh, April because there is not enough funding to address road safety, contrary to other pandemics like HIV, AIDS, malaria, or tuberculosis. So that's something which is a big challenge. Then um, I need to speak with uh, all the governments, mainly in developing countries, to ask them to address road safety on top of their list. Every year, 1.3 million people die on the road, and 50 million people are injured. So, I mean, it's a terrible thing for the countries. And as I said, most of them, 90% of those figures are coming in developing countries. Are there any changes that need to happen to the roadways themselves, the highways themselves, to adapt to more electric cars? I mean, not simply on the on motorway, but anywhere you know the only, I mean as I said earlier the biggest problem of electric car is the autonomy <laughs> you know it's at the moment self driving I mean, it's difficult autonomous. to drive more than uh, 200 kilometers right. and then when you need to recharge it's not like refueling you know but recharging electricity it takes a few hours so of course it doesn't make a comfortable a trip to go from one place to another place as long as it's over 200 to 300 kilometers. Uh, two more questions for you. One is, uh, uh, do you have an electric car at home? Are you driving electric cars yourself? I have one. Very good. And uh, Michelle, you and your wife does mm-hmm. too? She doesn't drive. She doesn't she drive. Pro- she promotes safe driving, but she doesn't drive. She lets you do the uh, do the driving. She could be the passenger, is that right? right. But as, as I said, she's a UNDP goodwill ambassador. And among the things she promotes, it's a safe driving. That's, that's great. And you seem very happy together. Uh, last question. On the race itself uh, today, uh, do you have any predictions that you can share seeing what you saw in qualifying round so far? I must say, it's been a very exciting uh, qualifying. I think it's, you know, it's amazing to be able to host a Formula A race in the heart of Zurich, next to the lake. And um, motor racing was banned since 55 in Switzerland, you know, because of a terrible uh, crash which happened in Le Mans 24 hours where more than 60 people died. So then the decision of the government was to ban any kind of uh, motor racing. And uh, the change has been uh, being able to promote electric car in city. So it's a one history day and I'm happy to be here for that. Yeah, definitely. Well, again, this is Jordan French. I'm with Jean Tote, president of FIA. 
Appreciate your time, John. Thank you. It's been lovely. Thank you. Until next time.